What's up guys, it is nearly the end of the year now, so I thought I'd do a video today where I review this year because obviously this year hasn't been the best year going. I don't know about you but this year went by so slow but so quickly at the same time, like how does that happen? Like it doesn't seem a minute since the last of the video in the beginning of January, my first video of this year and now I'm doing my last video of this year so how time flies. So I thought I'd sit down today and just re review this year because this year has been a very interesting year out of all the years. So that's what I'm going to do today, so let's get started. If you're excited to see you guys, if you like to share your 2K next video, don't forget to also comment down which video you do next time. And without further ado, let's just go into this video. Alright, where do I begin? So this year has been very interesting, I'm not sure where to start off. So I'll start off like, like January and February. So I guess January and February for me was kind of all right. I near enough started my TikTok career by then. So I started my TikTok career in like December of 2019 and basically that's how my January went. I'm not just that as well, January's just been kind of like an average month for me, I'm not sure what to recall from that, but and there's nothing to also recall about February as well, apart from January and February's just been an alright month, I guess. Nothing really happened except my TikTok career, my YouTube career, I guess. Oh, and just so y'all know, this might be a bit of a boring video to some of you guys, because I know some people doing these videos have done like loads and loads and loads of, loads of things to share, but Mine's just kind of like an average kind of video, so this might be a bit boring to you guys, but I hope you guys same watch planes and just watch it. So that's what happened during January and February, and then March hit. So March was when the coronavirus thing got into full swing, I guess. That was when Corona came up and said, Do you know what? I'm going to make my mark. Let's do this. And so things have been crazy ever since. Like, we're currently in a worldwide pandemic still, that's when the pandemic started in March and we were in lockdown and things like that, in quarantine and whatever, it was very, very crazy. So I thought I would just tell you guys what I did during quarantine and things like that, because I haven't actually told you guys properly how I felt about quarantine and like this year in general to be honest, so I thought I'd just open up to you guys today about how it actually kind of felt this year. So to be honest, quarantine for me wasn't actually that bad actually as some people were, I actually kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> some reason. I know some people haven't and that's fine, that's just like kind of your opinion to be honest, but my opinion is I thought it was kind of quite good. Like if you watch my vlog during the summer in the spring, you know that I went on loads and loads of adventures and things like that and I also learned how to bake this year, I learned how to cook this year. Well I learned how to cook like uh, several years ago, but I properly learned how to cook this year. I know this is probably the most boring video ever, what am I saying, this doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, why can I never do a year and review videos? This is incredibly boring. How are you guys even still watching this? And I also did a load of fun videos this year as well. I, I tested a bunch of Wish products. I, you know, did all those videos. And I also did a load of fun videos during quarantine as well. Like, if you watched all my videos during the spring and summer, they were actually really good. I actually enjoyed making those videos as well. You've seen me test out bargain store outdoor toys. You've seen me test out loads of things. You've seen me do loads of things for videos. You've seen me do all the things. And I also learned this year that I am very afraid of seagulls on my garden decking. Like, I remember back in like May or something I vlogged and basically I saw a bird on my decking which was flown on the decking. And basically, I freaked out over it. You can watch the vlog and things like that, but it was very terrifying indeed. This year, as well, I had the same dead seagull fall on my head. So basically, how that happened was, was that I put the seagull in like in like a box because the seagull had died. So I put it in the box and I put it on top of the shed roof. But it was actually really windy one day, and basically, I was chilling in the garden, and basically, I was going near the shed and the box that had the seagull in fell, so a dead seagull basically fell on my head out of the box. So I learned that you're not supposed to put a box of dead seagulls on top of your shed roof even if you're gonna bury it afterwards. Well don't worry though, I did bury it afterwards and it's in a good home now, buried in the garden. This year I learned how to work TikTok. Alright, so we're gonna get political here. This year I learned it's okay to be sad. This year I learned that after a hurricane comes a rainbow. And what I mean by that is sometimes in life, 
you just at a very low point in your life, but things will change and change for the better, to put it quite briefly. This year I learned to be proud of who you are. I learned that it's okay to be who you are and not, not everybody's the same. And we are all very different people because the world will be very boring if we're all the same. This year I learned how to make whipped coffee. You know, you know that whipped coffee thing that was a trend on TikTok like back in the beginning, the beginning of quarantine. I learned how to do that. And honestly, whipped, whipped coffee is actually really delicious. I'm not gonna lie. I remember having it and it tasted so good. So uh, you guys are... Uh, in fact, correct when you say whipped coffee is delicious, because it is delicious. This year I learned that I'm very stubborn. <laughs> oh my god. This year I learned that all your emotions are in fact valid, and it's okay to feel any emotion. Basically, this year has been a roller coaster of a year, to say the very least. Like, so many things have happened, so many bad things have happened, so many, you know, a load of things happened. Some for the good, some things which were really, really hard to get through this year. There's been loads of things that happened this year. But the fact is that we are here. We're, it's coming to the end of the year now. Hopefully 2021 will be a better year. So let's try to make 2021 a better year. Let's try to be happy, be creative, be fun, be energetic, be all the things. Let's all come together to make 2021 a year of hope, a year of change, a year of happiness, a year of positivity. After all the things that we've been through in 2020, let's make 2021 even a little bit better than this year. So I do hope that like, you guys, you like, see you guys, you like to see you guys, you like next video. Don't forget to also comment our wish reasons next time in, in the new year and things like that because I'll not be uploading now until the new year. So like I said, let's all try and spread happiness and be fun and creative and happy and positive in 2021. And hopefully 2021 will be a bit of a better year. And so, yeah, see you guys in the new year. I am really excited for the things I'm, I'm going to be doing in 2021. I'm really excited for all the videos I'm going to make, all the things I'm going to do in my career and things like that. So yeah, thanks guys for watching this video. And as always guys, I've been Jace Wood. You can be honest, I'll see you guys next video. Good. Bye. Thank you.